Okay, hello, I'm Peter. I'm uh, the developer behind Artificer, which I am creating with my wife Sava and our dog Balthazar. And I would like to showcase the first week of development, what we have done, what is already in the game, and what is our plan for the next week. So, first of all, uh, let me show um, what is already working to people who aren't familiar with the development. So, we have rudimentary crafting, which I will show you in a second. Uh, we have uh, the, the inventory system and item system works. The research system works as well. And uh, I'll show you in a second that you can craft stuff and use it. Hopefully I won't uh, aggro this monster because uh, monster physics are not implemented yet and it gets kind of wild. As you can see the health um, UI uh, works and you can have fractional health. So uh, don't worry, this is not the case that max health is like 5. Uh, this is just a, a bar. So I'll gather some twigs and and show you how crafting system works. So basically we've got one crafting station for now. Uh, I didn't manage to uh, to code the alchemy yet, so this is not in the game yet. This is for ne next week. So here we can craft stuff and in order to show you the research, I'll craft the research table and we can we can place it and here uh, is the research UI and you can research technologies here is the research tree and the research book so basically we got uh, all the building blocks all the simple building blocks of a base building game with research uh, in place what I was doing this week was world generation. So this is a kind of uh, difficult problem because uh, we are using Unity and it's not really that fast. And I wanted to have a, a infinite world with no loading times. So first thing I had to do, and it took me quite a while, I think three or four days, is to make a threaded dynamic uh, world generation area generation system so as you can see now um, there is no overhead on loading the areas you can see them appearing and disappearing <laughs> I think the monkey is going to kill us um, and this is because it's threaded like um, there is a certain amount of objects that can be in, in, initiated per frame so you get a constant 60 frames per second there is a um, little bump when you generate a new, a new area, when you not activate it, like return to it, but when you generate it. But this is, um, this is the stuff of future updates. I will try to uh, make the generation threaded as well, so it works really smooth. Yeah, the sound is working now, I, I think. <laughs> I hope. Um, yeah, and as I said, I'll show myself and I'll show Balthazar at the end of the video. We'll do some tricks. Uh, just for now, I want to showcase what I've done. So, um, a new addition to the game is the world generation feature system. So basically what it is, is there are some features like, uh, I don't know, a herbal meadow or a stone deposit or a lake with clay. And what I did is... Uh, what I did was uh, I wrote a system that lets me add features easily and then they are rolled uh, to the areas automatically. So that saves a lot of work and it will enable me to add lots and lots of features and lots and lots of biomes. And this is already done. You can see it in work. Um, by the way, I zoomed out just to show you how the world is loaded and uh, you won't see things loading ever. <laughs> like the original zoom of the game is like this. So, um, you can see some, uh, some features here, uh, like the lake, the, the stone deposit, the, um, the tree clusters, the Varnak spawner, this, this lake here. Uh, we have also added um, the spawners, so the monsters spawn, and uh, 
the basics of the difficulty system we promised. The difficulty is linear with the distance from the center of the map. Is already in place because the spawners, the further you go, there are more spawners and they spawn more enemies. Um, with our design pr principle in mind that every resource has to have has to have a challenge on top of it. Um, the Ossimians, the, the monkeys that, that are currently chasing me, are going to spawn uh, near uh, the stone deposits, making it harder to obtain stone. Yeah, so uh, we got one biome for now, but uh, we are thinking about uh, changing that. Uh, and Sava made some concept arts, um, which I will show you in a second. Um, of new uh, biomes. Let me let me just alt tab to that. I hope I don't die. So this is this. These are basically the concepts of of new biomes, and you are free to discuss them on our Discord. And uh, we have no idea which biome we'll tackle next and how it will look finally. So every idea is appreciated and you are invited to participate in the decision-making process. So uh, we got this uh, Varnak biome uh, concept. With <laughs> There will be lots of insects there. Uh, we have a Tesla tree uh, with those strange um, mushroom trees and the Tesla trees, of course, which conduct electricity and shoot lightning. Uh, we have the biome we know, and we have the stone biome, which needs some color tweaking, uh, but it has uh, these blood mushrooms that will be crucial to the alchemy process in, at some point. Hello, Piotr. Yes, it will be awesome to change landscape, and we are working just on that. Um, I will need to change the texture of the ground and I will need to make a dynamic system to change the texture of the ground for that. And I think this is going to land in week three. Yeah, thank you. So, um, what's, uh, what more uh, did we do? Uh, so, uh, as you can see, the UI is fully functional um, and we um, I made some uh, improvements to the to the UI per uh, performance improvements that I've uh, managed to find about Unity UIs. So it works really smoothly now, and it's fully functional. You can gather items, you can uh, like swap them, everything. So um, in terms of UI, I think we are done for 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 a while. The only UI elements that we are going to add are the crafting stations. So, uh, I think that's uh, that's all I have to show you for uh, for this week, for what we did. As you can see, the game uh, is uh, in a raw state, but it looks better and better, and you will see a great improvement over the next few weeks. And I hope, uh, and this is where I begin to uh, talk about the week two, and I hope to give you a playable build uh, playable in terms of uh, not only being able to walk and craft things randomly, but uh, playable with research and playable uh, with a goal, hopefully. So, week two. Uh, in week two, we, uh, I will um, focus on new crafting stations and alchemy. So, uh, you, will be given a, you, you will be given tools to uh, defeat monsters and you will be given tools to destroy their spawns and you will be given tools to hide from monsters. Uh, I hope that in, build, in the playable build there will be a goal and uh, perhaps we can make a little contest. For example, who will uh, reach uh, the furthest location from the start <laughs> without getting killed. Uh, and I think I have some spare codes of games like Vermintide. Uh, I will announce, announce it on the Discord channel. <laughs> yep, yep. the The game will be uh, will be zoomed in, so don't worry. Uh, this, uh, don't worry, Piotr. This is uh, just for debugging purposes and just to show you the world generation and just wandering around uh, 
um, because I'm being chased by monsters. Uh, so uh, yeah, don't get distracted. Um, yeah, and the feature that uh, was supposed to be in uh, week uh, one update is save and load and I didn't manage to do this this is a much bigger task than I originally um, thought because I had to like let's not not get into details it's really big and I think this will bleed into week two and three uh, to get uh, for for us to get a persistent world so I don't think uh, there will be a save and load in the playable build next week but I hope that by the end of week three uh, we will have save and load and a persistent world that will be uh, saved and load. Um, yeah. Uh, so uh, we are going to add in, in next week. We are going to add uh, a death animation for the for the player. As you can see, I died uh, just just before now. Now death just teleports to the start. So uh, there will be a death animation and there will be consequences for your death. Uh, the world will be reset for now. Um, in the final version, I think uh, we will have like a wimp, uh, wimp mode <laughs> where you die and you can continue. But uh, the game is originally uh, designed to um, to be a hardcore experience. You have one life, and if you lose that life, if you die, uh, then you have to start over. Uh, this is to encourage exploration and uh, preparedness, um, and not. Uh, to reward people who, who are prepared. Yeah, to reward players that prepare and reward players that uh, think, actually. Uh, but I'm uh, drifting off, off topic. So next thing is we are we will be adding more flora and fauna and let me show you the, the images. So basically we will be um, we will be implementing alchemy, and for alchemy we need a lot of ingredients. So we'll have those uh, mushrooms. We have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven types of mushrooms that we will incorporate in the game. And this is a pumpkin mushroom <laughs> for Halloween. And um, we will have new trees and new grass as well. And we will have some stone features. Um, we haven't tested it yet, but uh, I'd like to have some uh, big, uh, big objects in the game to break the monotony of, of the of the plane. Um, so we have uh, those mountains and uh, big rocks, and in the future there will be entrances to them, and there will be randomly generated dungeons, which I have already laid groundwork for, but. Uh, this is the song of the future, I think, next month. Um, yeah, uh, we will be adding a new monster next week. Let me show it to you. Okay, so I have to open it in paint because of, um, my system does not handle the transparency. Uh, but uh, basically this uh, this is the new monster. This is the whale worm. And this is the challenge on top of the whale wood trees. So this will be a centipede that will attack you when you try to chop down the trees. And you will have to find a way to, uh, to sedate it or kill it or uh, otherwise uh, defeat it to harvest wood. And we have already commissioned uh, animations for this. Uh, here are Savas animations. And there will be new ones. I think this is the attack animation. And this is the walk animation. Yeah. Uh, I know I'm just showing pictures. I will show you uh, the, the centipede in action next week. So. Um, Another two things uh, we will be working on is the combat. So I'll show you the, the state of combat right now. Let me just uh, fire up the build.
Uh, so for now, the combat is really plain and simple. You just click on enemies and you damage them and they damage you. So um, let, let, let us wait a while for the uh, Ossimian, the stone monkey, to spawn. Uh, so I would like to make some improvements to combat, like uh, customizable knockbacks. Uh, right now it's, it's all fixed. And we need more animations for this. And our animator Red is already working on it, so uh, we will have that as well. Uh, wait, I'll find some monsters to slay. So the thing I would like to add is uh, monster dropped corpses and monster dropped loot in week two. And this links to another thing that needs to be implemented. Uh, which I call the holdable object. So there will be some objects that will be too big uh, to carry in your inventory and you will have to have a rope and you will have to drag them. Uh, <laughs> you, I was just ejected. As you can see the, the combat system needs a lot of work and uh, the holdable objects uh, such as corpses or uh, I don't know like, uh, like bigger objects um, maybe a big crystal or stuff like this um, you will have to hold them and it will um, give an opportunity to create something like a, an, um, a loot transport mission. So basically if you would like to hold the uh, Ossimian body to your base to make an autopsy, uh, you will have to uh, like hold it a bit, defend yourself, hold it, hold it a bit, uh, stuff like this. I think uh, this is a great opportunity to uh, create an emergent adventure. So holdable objects and the next uh, thing we will be working on it, it's more more in the marketing department but uh, <laughs> which consists of me but uh, we are going to make our Steam page uh, with a trailer of the game so um, yeah so we can set the release date and uh, um, and you can click uh, that you wish uh, the game to be yours, add it to wish list. So this will be the, the things that we will be working on in a week too. So to sum up, uh, we have uh, added world generation system to the game with a feature system, one biome with four features for now, a bubble system, I forgot to tell, tell you, uh, we, uh, if you, if you zoom in, you can see those uh, small decorations on the ground. So, ah, too, too much, too much. Okay. <laughs> I'm being attacked. So, uh, I've added a decoration system as well. So, um, these are random decorations and they are biome dependent and super easy to add. So, you can expect more of them uh, to break the monotony of the landscape. So, um, the decoration system, we have clay and stone research generation. We have um, the mush cane uh, research generation. We have dynamic threaded area loading and monster spawners. The difficulty system has been, uh, the foundation of the difficulty system has been set. And we have bug fixed the UI. Next week, uh, we'll present crafting improvements, new crafting uh, station alchemy, uh, more flora and fauna, one monster and multiple uh, plants and mushrooms, uh, combat basics and combat bug fixing, holdable objects, uh, meaning corpses of enemies and other big objects that you can hold, and we will finish the Steam page. So that's, that's all, I think. Uh, now is the time for questions, if you have any, uh, I'll gladly answer them. And while I'm waiting for the questions, uh, I will I will present the, the dog trick uh, that was promised. So just a second. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you 
are uh, satisfied with our re results. Uh, if you are a backer, you are like our investor. So uh, let me show you a trick we are uh, currently uh, practicing with Balthazar. And it goes like this. Balthazar, hop! Hop, hop, hop! Lance, Lance, hop! <laughs> and it's a total fail. Okay, I need to wake him up. How about that? Zabawa! He is an active member of the development team. No, 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 He's not cooperating today. So uh, this is it for today. Um, thank you for watching. And uh, we'll be back next week with a stream. So uh, have a good night. It's night here or a day if uh, you're in a different time zone. And